Well, I remember my Holy Ghost experience just like it was yesterday. It was the year 2002, actually it was August 18, 2002 when I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It was just one week prior that I had given my life to God and back in those times it was immediately after we got saved, they taught us that we needed to be filled with the Holy Ghost. So a week later, all that week leading up to the week, I was praying and I was asking God, Lord, please fill me with the Holy Ghost. I was begging and pleading because I really wanted to have that power that so many of the saints had talked about. And I remember the day before I received the Holy Ghost, it was that Saturday night. I was, saying that I was sitting at home on my bed and I took out a sheet of paper and a pencil and I began to write a letter to God. Now I knew that God heard my prayers, but I wanted something in, in written form to God. And I wrote a letter and I said, Dear God, I said, I really want the Holy Spirit. I really want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I really want to speak in unknown tongues. And I remember this letter and in this letter I said, I want the Holy Ghost so bad I want it oozing out of my fingers and I want it oozing out of my hands. And, and I really, really wanted the Holy Ghost just that bad because I knew the importance of it because I was taught that as a young man. And on that day, I, on that Sunday, I woke up in ex expectation, in anticipation because I was coming with the purpose in mind. I was coming with my mind made up that this was going to be the day that I was going to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I remember going through Sunday school that day, going through the regular worship service, and my mind was not really on anything but the Holy Ghost. I could not wait to the altar appeal after the word because I knew I said, God, I'm going to the altar. And when I get there, I'm expecting something from you. I'm expecting to be re to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And so um, after the word of God came forth, I, I remember going to the altar to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost because I, I had a made up mind that I really didn't want to tarry, you know, I've, I've come through, so I've come up in the time where many people tarry for the Holy Ghost and, you know, and I see his purpose in that, but I tarried to be saved, but as when I, when I got saved, I really didn't want to tarry for the Holy Ghost because I knew that it was a gift and, and I wanted to receive that gift. And after the word came forth, I went down to the altar and there were a couple of us that went down to the altar. The other individuals, they were down because they wanted to... Um, receive healing because they had sickness in their body. And as the pastor was praying for the other individuals, I remember being on the altar and, and, I, and all I can say was, thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. And before the pastor even got to me to lay hands on me, I just automatically fell out under the power of the Holy Ghost. And as I, as I fell out, I just remember just saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And some of the the deacons of the church they came and they they lifted me up and then the pastor came over and he and he laid hands on me and once again I fell out under the power of the Holy Ghost and I and I just said thank you Lord and I just said thank you for the Holy Ghost and then immediately it just felt like there was some sort of ding and I and I remember like it was yesterday it was like I just heard a ding at the top of my head and that ding hit and, and immediately my language began to change and I couldn't and I couldn't couldn't speak what I was saying in my brain and in my mind at the time and the unknown tongues just flowed and it just flowed and it just flowed and and I don't remember when I came to maybe I don't even know how long it was I was on the opposite side of the church the Holy Ghost had just had his way in my life and it was just an amazing experience that I will never ever forget that day is a notable day in my life and ever since that day the Holy Ghost has done some so many marvelous things in my life the Holy Ghost has been there to equip me the Holy Ghost has been there to burn those things in me that that's not like God. And I just thank God because without the Holy Ghost, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. Without the Holy Ghost, I wouldn't be able to walk in power, to walk in authority, to walk in everything that God has for my life and in the will that he has for my life. I just want to encourage you, if you do not have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it is a gift. It is a gift that's waiting for you, and all you have to do is open the gift. Anytime someone gives you a gift, it's just, it's just there for you to receive it. So I just wanna employ you to just receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Receive it, and I wanna invite you to Pentecost Sunday, right here at Burning Bush International Ministries at 770 James L. Hart Parkway on May 19th. It's gonna be a service 
where you will have the opportunity to receive the indwelling and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And guess what? Even though I received the initial baptism, I'm expecting to be filled again. Hallelujah. And I just can't wait. I'm excited about that day. Meet me here. I am Jason Drain, and this is The Takeover.